I mean, think back to when you were a kid. What sounds more fun than like one of those cool ride-on Power Wheels things? Ugh. Of note is the fact that this is not a brand name Power Wheels. This is a cheap Chinese knockoff. But that's not the point of today's video. The point of today's video is what's more fun than one of these Power Wheels ride-on things? A souped up one. And as it turns out, you can make them go double, triple, or even quadruple as fast simply by overvolting them. Now, you could do that by just buying yourself a, in this case, this is a six volt model, so a 12 volt battery at the hardware store and plugging it in. But this is Linus Tech Tips, so instead of that, I decided to order myself a DIY lithium battery kit. Let's, uh, let's see how this goes. Danger. Pulseway. Pulseway lets you remotely monitor and manage all of your Windows, Mac, and Linux machines from one app. Create your free account today at the link in the video description. Now I hadn't originally planned to do a video about this, so you guys are gonna have to forgive me if I am not as prepared as even I normally am. Um, but I am going away to Disneyland in three days and I need to queue up enough videos for a while I'm gone. It's real talk, real talk right now. And I was telling Ed about this plan that I had to sort of trick out one of our power wheels, not actually this one. And he was like, oh, we should, we should do a video about that. And I was like, oh yeah, I mean, I'm still kind of like learning and I really don't know if this is the most optimal way to do it. And he's like, oh yeah, no, it sounds like a video. So um, basically what I've ordered here, so these are 18650s, these are 3500 milliamp ones. I think they're from Samsung. It's either Samsung or LG Chemicon or whatever their like um, chemicals like division is. So it's either Samsung or LG cells. And then these are high current ones because uh, not on this one, but actually on the two seater that I am planning to have all of this end up in, um, you can actually see some pretty impressive peak power draw. So I got a bunch of these. Then I picked myself up this puppy. So this is the, oh, here we go. Uh, charging slash controller board that you need anytime you're building a lithium battery. And I can't remember if this is a balance charger or not, so I'm gonna have to look that up so I can determine exactly what type of charger I need to use on it. I do have a balance um, lithium battery charger at home, but I forgot to bring that today. All right. Ah, yes, you can see here, this is for seven cells in series. So parallel determines how much capacity you have and series determines what the voltage is gonna be. So this is a six volt model and I'm gonna be hitting it with about 24 volts. So we're gonna burn it out pretty quickly, but um, realistically, I was, I was gonna get rid of this one anyway. The idea is to make the, uh, the Jeep power wheels that I have at home go twice the speed, and we'll be making this one go four times the stock speed. This is one of the kits from Verusend? V, v Rusen? I don't, I don't know what they, I don't know how they pronounce their thing, but basically, um, Resists vibration loosening. It's safer. Hey, it's safe. Oh, yay. What we're doing today, building a lithium battery pack. It's a modular lithium battery pack kit. Just chill. What? It's all good, don't worry about it. Fully customizable. Where, where's the guide? Don't we have a bunch of like 12 volt batteries just like sitting in 101? Yes. <laughs> well, A, this, I'm building a 24 volt battery which, yes, I know. <laughs> and B, I wanted the weight and quick charging, and I just wanted to do it this way because it's fun. Okay. To turn this bunch of cells into a battery, we need to wire together all of the cells correctly to get our 29 volts and 30 amps at full charge. To do this, we'll be creating a 7S3P battery, meaning there will be seven cells wired in series, and then three of those wired in parallel. 
Construction of the battery is pretty simple, although if we wire up one cell incorrectly, or even just drop a nut or touch a screwdriver across the wrong place, we risk causing a short circuit that could electrocute us, or at worst, cause the battery to explode. Someone's gonna blow themselves up. <laughs> okay, I think we should do the things first and then put yeah. cells in. So then theoretically, we can take your whole thing and blippity bloppity, hold on, let me help you get that aligned, okay? Do we have a rubber mallet here? No, we're not rubber malleting these. <laughs> Why not? Because we're not. Because that's not a good idea. Well, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> I, it's pretty hard to push on. We did this three more times and got what seemed like should be a ready to wire up battery until we actually thought about it. It's really easy. Before you begin though, make sure you understand how series and parallel electrical connections work. I want to brush up on the subject, blah, 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 blah. Don't short circuit, that's bad, got it. If I wanted serial, wouldn't I need to go from here to here, though? Oh, crap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. In order to do that, you need to do every row. Oh, this is easy. Oh, maybe. Well, let's find out. Oh, they have videos. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. We'll be back in a minute here. We're gonna watch some YouTube to learn. <laughs> Turns out that if we flip around every second cell, creating the connections will be super easy by just placing the bus bars across the top. So the good news is we weren't that far off. Pretty much these bars go on and we make all the parallel connections between our cells. Oh yeah. Like it ain't no thing. I'm hold on, I'm just trying all my contacts here. We good, we good, we good, we good. Yep. Beautiful. Uh, now we have to attach the uh Yeah. I don't know. So let's we're gonna watch uh we're gonna watch this other video now. <laughs> BRB! All right, so we ran out of time yesterday. It's day two, but there's some good news. I was able to bring in the actual car that I intend to use. So um, this one shouldn't fry immediately when we hook this battery up, but there's some bad news. So I had planned to either hook this up with the battery management system for a single input charging, um, or I had planned to hook it up with this doodad and then use a balance charger like this one, but I forgot this is a maximum 6S balance charger, so this won't work. Um, which means we're gonna have to use the BMS. Except for one small problem, we can't find a single power adapter in the building that is, um, so, so you don't take the 3.7 volt nominal voltage, you take the 4.2 volt charge voltage. So this thing can't take magically like a 12 volt input and turn it into 30 volts. You need an actual like 30 volt charger and 7S, as far as I know, is a pretty oddball configuration. So I'm not sure how we're gonna charge it, but I'm gonna start to wire it up anyway. I found a 33.6 volt one. Do you think it would work? 33.6? Yeah. I don't know. What do you think the tolerances are like on something like this for input? Probably fine. We have 29.4, is that Ooh. what we were looking for? 29.4, yeah. I knew those stupid hover shoes were gonna come in handy for something. We're gonna cannibalize the charger. Cannibalize it? Well, yeah. Well, yeah, because I don't have a socket for this. So first things first. All the balance wires are on. There we go. And my negative, I believe this is negative charging, yep my negative charging wire is soldered. Now what I need to do is throw on two positive wires to the opposite terminal here. So to the positive terminal at the other end of the battery. One of those will be for charging, one of those will be for discharging. Now I realize I'm opening myself up to some soldering technique critique here, but this is how it's going on. Alex, do you wanna solder me? I'm sorry. Let's go for a solder bath. Okay, that's lots. 
Oh man, I can feel the the cringing. <laughs> Just wait till the Verge does this. That'll make me feel better. So we've got our eyebrow tweezers <laughs> and our butter knife. Okay, don't don't include that last bit. We don't want to be too mocking of the Verge. We're not trying to make enemies in the industry. Uh, I don't have captain tape. We really we really need to get like some more electronics project crap. So I'm gonna go get packing tape just because I need to keep those wires out of the way. For all the viewers out there who know what they're doing with this stuff, does it make it better or worse that in many cases I know the right way, but I'm doing it this way anyway? Ah, sh Now they say in their guide, you don't have to solder this, but I think that's really stupid, personally. I think advertising this out. Stop it. Okay, stop doing that. Oh, nice. Now typically hat nuts aren't reusable, but I managed to kind of crush it back on there. Okay, all right. So we can test then. Well, first, I'm gonna have to show you guys the before, of course. Here we go. See, pretty boring. <laughs> this is not the recommended way of doing this. Again, though, if you wanted the recommended way, would you be watching my video? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> oh, we're gonna ruin our floors. Here we go. Woo! Woo! Oh, I can't break! Whoa! Oh! <laughs> There's no steering on this floor. Oh! oh. How's my phone? Is my phone okay? Oh, it sticks out of my pocket sometimes. It's okay. So that hat nut, uh, not a great solution, just <laughs> bending it back. Uh, so, this is our pretest. This is with the original battery, which has like a, a somewhat fresh charge. It's not, not super fresh, but it's not like the worst either. So, uh, reverse. First gear. Second gear. Now, it's really important for a reliable operation to install, um, people do either 30 amp or 40 amp breakers in these things, but I'm gonna do that later when I do my whole ESC upgrade with the sewing machine pedal and all that kind of stuff, so. This stock connector no longer has any use. We are wired up now, baby. Oh, that's reverse. <laughs> it's definitely faster. That's first gear. And we need to move over to unit 101. <laughs> Let's just get this back end up here. Da, 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 da. Let's turn it up to high gear. Woo! Woo! Oh, oh, that was a, that was an undesirable. This is really hard. I can't even use. <laughs> I can't even use my foot. Oh, really? No, I'm just using my hand. Oh, lordy. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> J turn. <laughs> oh, I tried to throw. I tried to throw it in forward. Wow, the traction's actually pretty good out here. So there she is, she's a little toasty. She's definitely uh, ready to be left to cool and then charged. And that's it. That's a DIY battery for better or for worse. 
And this whole mess is brought to you by Memory Express. Memory Express is the place to go if you need any kind of electronics products in Canada. They've got computers, uh, tablets, phones, uh, home theaters, pretty much you name it, and they've got it. And with their Uber Price Beat guarantee, they will beat any price, both in store and online, from a Canadian retailer. So go check them out at the link in the video description. So thanks for watching guys, if you disliked this video, you can hit that button, but if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, and maybe consider checking out where to buy the stuff we featured at the link in the video description. Also down there is our merch store, which has cool shirts like this one, and our community forum, which you should definitely join.